Hi there, this is Depressing Draws uh, from DDD Wares, I guess. And um, this, is a, this is a really quick tutorial for the Paranormal Footage Credibility Rating System tool. After I've done the tutorial, if you want to hang around, I'll go through some of the methodology uh, and the systems that work in the tool. But just to start for 10, what we're going to do is uh, here I have pre-prepared a window of YouTube. Here we've got some garbage, um, but this is not the particular brand of garbage we're looking for. We're looking for, you know, basically fake paranormal footage. So what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to find some purported ghost footage, let's say. So ghost video real, <laughs> right? So let's try this. Okay, and as you'd expect, here's some more garbage. <laughs> but, you know, to, for, the, for the purposes of uh, the video, let's just see if we can choose something fairly brief. Um, no, I just checked that one, and it's a screamer. Hilarious. So, <laughs> but what can you expect? Um, this one's got a cat in it. Let's try this one instead. Okay, so whilst the uh, preamble on this is playing, I'm just going to bring the tool in here. So this is the tool itself. Uh, it's available on my itch page, which there'll be a link in the description. It's absolutely free. Uh, no obligation for payment at all. So, you know, anyone can download and use it, uh, provided you're on a Windows system, essentially. Um, and what we're going to do is the way you use this tool, it's really simple, really straightforward. Watch the video as it's going on here, and all we're going to do essentially mark off any applicable checkboxes that the video has in it, right? So, footage is from CCTV that has no clear reason to exist, e.g., example given, CCTV in a residential home looking at nothing in particular. That's the one for me, right? Uh, then we have. We've already selected an option with CCTV footage, so we don't need to double up on it. But, um, footage take place at night? Yes. Footage uses infrared? Yes. Footage is cropped and has deliberate edits or lax content? Well, you've just seen in the background going on there some what I'd call edited zooms. So, yep. I think the digital compression is not too bad on here. However, subject of footage is indistinct. Well, it's basically a shadow. So we get a tick on that one. Um, this guy's got 37,000 subscribers. So you could select that from a YouTuber. I'm thinking of like, you know, when I say footage is from a YouTuber, I'm thinking probably bigger channels than this. You could select it if you want, but to be honest with you, it's not going to make too much difference to the outcome. So we've checked the applicable options, right? So all you need to do then, once you're happy you've selected all that are applicable, just calculate the rating. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, you know, this one hits all the marks, right? The footage falls well below to the uh, levels that I would deem credible, right? It, it's just, it's just crap, essentially. And um, that's what the tool comes up with. So with that done, the, you know, the, the, that really is as simple as the tool gets. We can reset it and start again if you want to watch another stupid ghost video or whatever. It's all ready for you. Um, now we'll go into a little bit of the methodology behind the system. So the thing is, right, I, I get a certain amount of perverse gratification from going around watching fake paranormal videos online right mainly so i can shout bullshit at the screen and you know feel all superior that that's what it really comes down to right but i was watching these videos and i was finding it difficult to quantify why i thought they were crap sometimes it's obvious as if that's obviously a bit of string being pulled or whatever sometimes it's as obvious as there's literally nothing paranormal happening in this footage but what I really thought would be valuable would be to quantify it. So how do we go about quantifying it? Well, it's actually easier than I would have thought, because if we were to have definitive proof 
um, a gold standard for any given paranormal activity captured on film, we would have expectations for the quality of that film, the quality of that footage. And what I would expect from that footage would be uh, the videos be of excellent quality and visibility. You know, it would be high definition. Ideally, I think something like 8K, but I think we would probably accept 4K in the meantime. The video would be shot in the daytime with excellent lighting. It would have minimal digital compression and artifacting, uh, and it would have a clear and distinct view of the paranormal subject in question. The footage would also come from a credible source. We can see what we would expect from a gold standard. The, the paranormal footage rating system that I've developed and used in this app, essentially, starts with the assumption that the footage in question is that gold standard. That's marked out of points out of 100. So it's 100% credible, gets 100 points, right? Beyond reproach, no one questions it, everyone accepts it. Paranormal phenomenon is real. <laughs> okay, right? With that as the starting off point, we have all of these check marks, right? And these are all of the reoccurring themes that we <laughs> we see in Paranormal footage, which erodes its credibility, right? And what you'll find is the stuff at the top is weighted lighter than the stuff at the bottom. And the stuff at the bottom is weighted heavier in terms of erosion of credibility. Essentially, all every time you take one of these things, you see a minus from that 100% credibility rating. And that's really what it all comes down to. Really straightforward, really simple, quantified in, in what I think is a pretty reasonable and robust manner. And that's it, really. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you get any use out of this tool. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably a pretty niche application. <laughs> but, you know, maybe someone out there liked it. I enjoy using it. Um, there we go. Thanks a lot. I have to go.